This is a Sylvania B2224 series uh, street light, which I obtained. It had come down from a pole uh, that uh, had been hit by a car, and the street, well, the street light was left laying on the uh, side of the road, badly damaged and corroded. I actually picked this up. This was originally an 80 watt mercury vapor lamp. Um, as I move around, you'll get to see uh, this was badly corroded. Uh, the ballast was very badly corroded and looked like it was in a state of not being able to work again. Uh, I completely stripped this street lamp down. The uh, diffuser at the front was broken. I've ended up obtaining a new one from the power company here uh, off another lamp. Uh, I've replaced it with a metal halide uh, 70 watt ballast from uh, Atco, which is um, uh, manufactured here. New capacitor and a new igniter uh, to convert it into a metal halide lamp. Uh, originally it was an 80 watt mercury vapor. If you saw the condition of it beforehand it was absolutely atrocious uh, and I couldn't just throw it in the rubbish bin. I actually fixed it up, uh, put in the new parts, got a new diffuser for it, bought a 70 watt mercury uh, metal halide lamp uh, and uh, put that in and I've just finished the project today and turned it on for the first time and this is the finished product. Down here you see what is the photocell chamber. Uh, the photocell actually inserts from the bottom of the lamp uh, into this little uh, device here. I actually had to put this back together, it had completely broken apart. Um, I haven't got a photocell in there at the moment. Um, I've got one in the shed but I haven't put it in. I wanted to test the lamp first. So this is it, fired up for the first time. Here's the cover here for the lamp. Uh, and I can put that back on. But that is my 70 watt metal halide Sylvania street light. Thank you.